fucking blows up. Bitch, I make it rain, show. You did that. They wanna know a thing about you. You still that. Kill them with that block of block. Hey guys, this is Keiko2000. We're starting up the vlog at, let's check the time. Um, turn on the light so you guys can actually see some stuff. Um, it is, where's the time down here? Okay, of course, the TV isn't on, or the theater. It's like 2, um, 10 right now, and I'm actually heating up some pizza and corn, and then I'll work out later to work it off. I'm also going to have some pineapples with that, and, um, yo nana, so basically it's like fruit, uh, it's like, <clears throat> Uh, fruit ice cream. That's what it is, but made completely out of fruit, uh, frozen fruit. Um, my aunt may be coming over today, so I don't know if we're gonna do that tomorrow, though. Monday, when you're seeing this, we should. Sorry, the TVs are really loud right now. Hold on. We should be doing skits tomorrow if all goes well. We were gonna do skits today, but no one can come, so. That stinks, but you know, that's just how it ends up. All right, I'm gonna go eat this, and let me show you real quick. I only heated it up for a minute, and this is low-fat pizza, so it's actually better than the regular pizza for me. And my mom's sick, so no one's really cooking food, and my dad's about to watch, well, he is watching the football game, so I just made food for myself. All right, let's get going with this day. All right, guys, this is my lunch. So we have pineapples here. Um, low fat pizza here which is um just heated up and we have corn um a little bit of corn in a little bowl you guys can see that and then water so not all of our food groups but you know it's a healthy lunch or pretty healthy other than the pizza really but we have our vegetables our fruits and our water the only thing we're missing really is dairy but it's okay all right bye <laughs> Hey guys, um, so I have a little explaining to do. I haven't missed a vlogging day in 155 days. That's insane and that's crazy. So I've uploaded every single day from 155. Actually, it's probably like a... It's actually, it's probably like 135 because I did videos before vlogs. So I haven't missed in like 135 days. That's insane. That's crazy, right? I tried uploading the vlog I did yesterday. I tried to upload it today. I've been deleting it like five times, trying to re-upload it, and it's corrupted. It will not work. So I have no idea if I'm going to be able to get the vlog out to you guys. And I might miss a day. I don't want to miss a day, so I'm going to have to make up in some way. And I, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I feel really bad though. I know not many of you guys even really care right now, or maybe some of you do, but it really bugs me. Hold on, I'm gonna set you guys down. It really bugs me that, you know, I'm missing a day because I really do care um, to put videos out for you guys, and I really do want to do that. I'm probably gonna do a strip down challenge because I have a lot of things going on in my life right now that. I would like to get out to you guys and uh, talk a little bit about that. It's going to be longer than just a 10 minute video probably because it's literally going to be me sitting down trying to talk to you guys about something that I really care about and you know, I need to tell you. Alright, that being said, I love y'all. Um, it's the Steeler Games going on right now. I'm not going to watch it but I'm just going to go for now. You may get some more later. Like a more of the vlog but if this is the end i love y'all goodbye all right hey guys um i decided even though all this stuff is happening i'm still gonna vlog you know i didn't want it to be like okay we messed up on one thing so now everything's messed up and you guys are coming along with me for my journey of losing weight and everything but, as we go forward, since we're just starting, you know, I realize that the healthier I eat and the more I subject myself to not eating unhealthy foods, the more I consume those unhealthy things because, or eat too many healthy things when then it becomes unhealthy. Because if you guys didn't know, 
if you eat loads and loads of like one fruit, for example, those sugars from the fruit will build up into something unhealthy. And sorry if you hear screaming. Steal games on. So, Oreo pack. I'm gonna change it, not every day, but uh, this is going to be my unhealthy food. It's gonna be at the end of the week, um, every week, and if I cheat during that weekend, I have to work out for two hours. So probably one hour and I get home and then one hour after I eat dinner. And that's how it's gonna happen. So right now, we're gonna try this. And we can have one of those ice cream things that you guys saw me, well, if you see the vlog, I eat an ice cream thing and they're look fat ice cream so I can have that. Oreo, let's see how many calories this is. These aren't my favorite Oreos. My favorite Oreos are the uh, vanilla. 270 calories. Oh, and I'm gonna go back to writing down like what I ate tomorrow on Monday. I haven't had regular Oreos in like a year or two, guys. So this is awesome taste for me. Um, so I decided that I'm gonna do the story right now. Literally just decided now. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about how I became fat. <laughs> Alright, so it's not like a huge story. It's not like a monumentous thing like, oh my gosh, I, I went into depression. No, nothing like that. Literally, as I was a kid, I was very, very skinny. If I find a picture, it should pop up around now. I have pictures all over. Actually, I might have some. Oh, I have some in here. I don't know if you guys can see any of this, but I was very, very skinny. Actually, this might be a picture. No. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I was very, very skinny. And my parents, my mom was very, very skinny at the time. Everyone in my family, the four of us, were very skinny. And every single day, we would have seconds of whatever meal we were having. And the meals weren't um, exactly fattening. Well, actually, they were fattening. And, um, but, you know, they were on good, but not good. And seconds, seconds, seconds. I remember having lasagna. Seconds, seconds, seconds. Um, I never got big things of dessert. My mom would always make me split that with her or get a small piece of cake or something. But I did just have seconds and seconds and seconds. And that all built up to whenever I was probably in third grade is whenever I gained a lot of weight. And then third grade all the way to seventh grade. And I remember not even being grateful for how I was. And now I wish I could tell myself, be grateful for how you are because now you're going to have all these things that you have to go through. And I am in perfect health. Um, other than the fact that I'm overweight, but there's no symptoms yet. Uh, I'm going to be, although we do have to go to the doctors um, to get a checkup on them. The doctor's going to help. Um, but yeah, I just want to tell you guys that because I feel like I need to share some things. And just to get it off of my chest. But yeah, so I just want to tell you guys that and... Hopefully in three months is when I go back to the doctors or less than three months now. Last time I went to the doctors, three months from then, and I vlogged that, so you guys should know what that is. And I'll be, um, uh, she wants me to lose weight by then. And so my goal is 20 pounds because 20 pounds for, a, uh, like if I lose 20 pounds, I get a dog. So that's awesome and it's going to keep me motivated, but I need your help and suggestions for how I can limit my intake of unhealthy foods. And I'm really going to beat myself mentally because I'm not gonna lie, when I look in the mirror at myself, I'm a statistic now. Um, I was watching Survivor and the commercials, there was like one, and it was like, 
when I look in the mirror, I'm unhappy with what I see. And it said like, I forget the exact numbers, but let's just go with like 75% um, of girls look in the mirror and are unhappy with themselves. And I'm a statistic now. So we're gonna change that up and we're not gonna be a statistic and hopefully I have the energy to change. All right, guys. I love y'all. See you in the next clip. Oh, sorry, guys. You're, like, falling. Hey, um, I just had an amazing idea. And I realized it's something I really, really want to do. Hold on. I need to get in time. I'm, like, out of breath for some reason as soon as I started talking. It's not a good thing, guys. Whoops. Okay. Let me pick this up. All right, so basically, my idea is I'm making another channel. It's official. I'm going to have, like, five channels. Um, exactly five. This channel is going to be a channel that I post me making reconstruction videos on. <sighs> why am I out of breath? I don't know, guys. See, this is why I need to get in shape. I just started talking to you guys. I was fine. I started talking and went up the stairs and I'm out of breath. Okay. So it's going to be a reconstruction YouTube channel where I make reconstructions of the Claudia Aqueduct already made. I'm making the Coliseum right now, which in fact, I'll give you guys a sneak peek actually. Yay, my video saved. Um, hopefully I can get this out to you guys. It's the vlog. All right, let's go in single player. And it, the map's even called Reconstructions. And I'm going to make a new um, thing, a new channel. Oh, you guys just fell. Sorry about that. It's loading up. Hi, guys. Okay, come on, load up. Is it going to load? Alright. So this already, I started building it this morning. Um, and I came back up here. But yeah, this is partly how the Coliseum is right now. And I'll give facts on it and everything like that. So anyone who needs like a, needs help with like a project or something can use these examples. So I think that's going to be really cool. And if you guys like that channel idea, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you have a request... Go on that channel, which should be in the link in the description because I'm going to make it tonight. Go on that channel and um, subscribe and give the first video a thumbs up because I'm uploading the Claudia Aqueduct. This is going to be the end of the vlog for now till uh, dinner. And I'll vlog what I'm eating for dinner to show you guys the healthy slot side of things and my diet. Alright, let's get going. <gasps> hey guys, sorry if you hear me in the background there. I'm playing the video I'm trying to upload, uh, the vlog I'm trying to upload for you guys for today or tomorrow when you're watching this. Um, I'm about to re-record um, the second reading of for Book Talk with Keiko, so the second chapter. Because there was some complications and stuff. But what I was saying about the new channel I want to create, um, it's not just going to be a reconstruction channel, um, but it's also going to be like teachings and reviews. So um, I'm going to teach you guys how to make rainbow looms because I was a rainbow loom addict. I made so many. I have um, a bunch on my bed I was wearing earlier, all of these and more. And I can go from, you know, let me get some of my best out for you guys. I just want you to be able to see this because, you know, these were one of my favorite things to do at one point. You can see these. Awesome, right? So three different kinds. I don't know what each one's called, but if you guys want to see me make these, give this video a thumbs up, and I won't just do reconstruction. But I definitely know I'm going to be putting my Yo Nana review on that channel. So it's a review reconstruction channel, but mostly reconstructions. All right, next clip. Oh, hey guys, um, I just got done doing 30 minutes and, um, on the bike and I burned 192 calories, which is pretty good for only 30 minutes. And then um, I was going a speed of 20 uh, miles per hour, so that's pretty uh, fast for, you know, just this. I was going to get on the treadmill for another 30 minutes, and it's like 10 o'clock right now. Um, I was going to, oh, I don't want to start again. I was going to get on for another t 30 minutes, but instead I'm going to go on the ground here and just work out um, abs and weights. 
So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> hey guys, um, so I'm gonna lift weights and stuff. It's only 10 pounds because, wait, where's the 10? It's only 10 pounds because, um, the more muscle you gain, the more weight you gain. And our journey is to lose weight, but I also want to be very, um, strong. So that's what we're doing right now. And I'm sorry you guys are like at an angle. I had to put you that because you're actually on the bike. There's like an opening. I'll show you later. But that's what you're on right now. I've got workout gloves on. Make sure you drink lots of water, which I haven't been doing. But water will actually really help you. Um, so our journey for this is to lose 20 pounds. Um, we're starting our journey today. And we have three months, a little less than three months, to complete this. By my birthday, which is February 21st, I want to have lost 10 pounds. We could probably do more than that. We could probably lose 20 pounds by my birthday. But as of right now, that is what my goal is. And hopefully I can achieve this and all will be well. Now, all of you guys can see the reason why I'm doing this. Um, it's to lose weight. See that? That's not good. Um, but that doesn't mean that you have to lose weight if you're at this because I'm at a perfectly healthy state and everything other than the fact of being overweight, which I said earlier. But I decided that I'm going to actually take care of of myself and by the way I'm terrible at push-ups I can't even do like one so what I'm doing is I'm doing what they call the girl push-ups which uh, is scientifically proven that it's just as um, just as helpful as regular push-ups so you could do these type of push-ups and still be awesome so time to go into a times lapse till this cuts out <laughs> all right go Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that hurts your back. So much, guys. Alright. I love y'all. This is the end of the vlog. Um, I think. I'll have a talk with you upstairs, actually, about this whole thing and why I'm doing it. Alright, but for now, bye. So, guys, this is what I'm having for dinner right here, and then probably one of those ice cream things again, but it is, um, I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, teriyaki chicken, uh, vegetables, uh, potatoes, and rice, and then it has a sauce underneath but i'm gonna go i might talk upstairs but for now this is what i'm having 
Alright guys, so instead of having the ice cream, I actually made a Yonan thing. This is strawberries, cherries, and mangoes. So that's this whole blend. You guys can see that. Here's the mango a little bit, mango here. And that's basically what I'm having. Alright. Hey guys, so good news. Around 7 o'clock I was able to upload that video I told you that wasn't uploading. And uh, right now, I just I was going through people's Instagrams like a true stalker because I saw that my friend McKenna, uh, she had liked my um, my Instagram post and stuff. So I was like, okay, let me check this out. And I started going through her Instagram, and I saw, you know, I started liking them. I didn't want to be too creepy though, and like like all the videos. So what I did was um, I went through some and. I looked at it and she had some inspirational quotes on here. Uh, I don't know if she made it up or if she found it. I'm guessing she found it, but if you made it up, McKenna, that's awesome. So here's one thing, and I'll put her Instagram in the link in the description down below so you guys can check these quotes out for yourself and follow her. And I'll put my Instagram down there. <laughs> okay, so McKenna said, Being happy doesn't mean everything is perfect. It means you've decided to look beyond the imperfections. That's so inspiring, guys, because that saying, you know, everything doesn't have to be perfect for you to be happy. You only need to be happy when you look past the imperfections of others. You know, that really says something, and it's really awesome that uh, people are actually starting to, you know, catch up on that. Know that you can look past imperfections and that's when you're truly the happiest and I think all of us in society need to work on that need to work on you know being able to look past she had some other ones is this it oh don't judge my choices without understanding my reasons a lot of people on the internet today um I've never been a victim of this and I've never done it to someone leave really mean hate comments or just like a video to this day, I've never disliked a video, and I've never left a hate comment. Uh, because I really feel like that's not necessary, and it's just spreading negative energy. And she's saying, don't judge without knowing why this happened. So a lot of people in the comments and stuff will say, oh, I hate you, why did you do this? Now, they're saying this without knowing the person personally. At least most of them are, I'm guessing that they don't know the person and they're saying why would you do this but you don't know the reasons they had for this so that was just really inspiring to me and I found it empowering that uh, she put that quote there another quote of hers you know I'm gonna like this McKenna if you find me a stalker I'm sorry I'm sorry all right so this is another one she says we met for a reason either you're a blessing or a lesson and that was really powerful to me and you guys have to scroll down these are some of her earlier posts by the way if you want to see the inspirational quotes uh she has one thing sistery love the things we do at practice i didn't even know mckenna was part of um a softball team i'm trying to find this guys i'm sorry but this was really cool to me how she put these quotes down and i don't know i just really like the quotes and everything all right, and then one is being normal is boring. A lot of people talk about this on the internet about how some people say, oh, they're weird and everything, and then they're like, why would I want to be normal, you know? And I don't find anything normal unless you're trying to fit society's perspective of things. And if you're trying to always fit society, then you're never going to be happy with yourself. And I think that's really awesome, and she kind of showed that, you know? She's herself, and she's good the way she is and she's happy with who she is I'm guessing and if you're not you should be and that's something I have to learn sometimes too so is this sorry guys I'm like looking through this to see if I can find more I don't think there's any more that I can find right now because I don't want to be a stalker and go through all of her Instagram but it's really cool guys so please check it out and I'm sure she'll be posting more inspirational things um and yeah so you can look for the ones for inspiration when it's just like her or something and like a white box all right thank you so much for watching guys 
I love y'all so much. This is the end of the vlog. Officially, I finally got the video uploaded. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and I'm uploading a video for, um, for Book Talk with Keiko. I created the new, um, channel, I guess yesterday for you guys now. But I created the new channel, uh, Reconstructions with Cake by Keiko is what it's called. It's a Reconstructions by Keiko. First video I uploaded today. Also, it's called the Claudia Aqueduct. And I also made my description. And let me show you guys this real quick. Um, let me come up here. Oh, you guys just like turned all the way there. I have a new background. You guys remember before it was my friends. But now it's Poseidon. He's my all-time favorite Greek god ever. And um, there's Poseidon. Like, I love people who can bend water. So he's just awesome. So this is Poseidon right here. And then at the background is the water with his legendary staff. <laughs> I just feel that's really awesome and really cool. So, guys, that being said, this is the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you guys tomorrow. I hope you're enjoying these vlogs. If you have anything for me to improve upon, put in the comments down below. Make it nice, though, guys. We want to spread positivity and love. And remember, guys, <laughs> don't judge my choices without knowing my reasons. I'll have a quote for you at the end of every vlog, hopefully. All right. <laughs> Bye.